It's time to transform this KLX 110 into the ultimate pit bike build. So the KLX 110 is one of the most popular pit bikes due to the fact that it has a clutch and there are many aftermarket parts available. Now guys that we think of when we think about Kawasaki's are guys like Chad Reed, Ryan Villapoto, Ricky Carmichael, even James Stewart. But today, we're gonna build Hanny's Live 100 2014 Kawasaki. Build, we do need to send away a few parts to get powder coated and seracoated. So we're going to rip in, get those off, and then we can get cracking with the rest of the build. So next on the list is actually to pull these wheels apart. So we're going to take these tyres off, disassemble the wheels themselves, so undo the spokes, take the rims off, and then we'll send the hubs away to get seracoded. Uh, and then that way we can relace and put the black spokes with the black rims to complete the look of this bike. So you might be wondering why we're changing a set of handlebars on a brand new motorbike. Uh, the reason being is uh, when you're a taller rider or you're a little bit bigger kid, you want to have a taller set of handlebars. So we're going to be upgrading these with a set of rental bars and we're also going to be extending those cables as well because the bars are going to be higher. So we're going to do brake cable, uh, the clutch cable and the throttle cable. So all these need to be replaced. We'll also throw on some new grips, some grip donuts and make this thing look killer. Alright guys, we're back for another day of the KLX 110 build. Fresh haircut, feeling good. Now unfortunately we did run into issues with those little wheels. They are a bit of a nightmare, so we ended up biting the bullet and going to the professionals at 727 Moto to lace them up for us. Thankfully Cobbins uh, managed to smash out some work for us, got the triple clamp on on those handlebars. So we'll just get cracking with the rest of the build. All right, so first things first, we're gonna throw this upgraded shock in. Now this is suited to a bigger rider, so it's gonna actually make the Kalex handle better, especially when there's an adult on board.
So you guys might be wondering why we replaced the battery. Now the standard battery in a KLX 110 is actually a gel battery. They're quite heavy. We've upgraded with a high performance lithium battery. Now this thing actually probably weighs a third of the weight of the gel. So, so it's not only gonna perform better, but it's actually gonna be lighter. Obviously power to weight ratio is super important on these little 110s. So one of my favorite mods to any dirt bike is definitely upgrading the exhaust system. Now in these little Kalex 110s, they're heavily restricted from factory. So we've actually opted to go with the Pro Circuit T6 uh, exhaust system, and you can see the difference in size uh, in the outlet. So this bike's gonna perform better and breathe better and just overall run a lot better. All right, so we're just about to throw some bling on this little 110. Now, Lux Billet do a bump starter eliminator, which basically means you can start the bike in gear. So if you do stall it in a corner, you can pull that clutch in, and instead of having to go into neutral, you can start the bike up. We've also got a gear shift shaft brace, which basically means when you crash, you're not gonna bend that gear shift shaft um, and have to split the engine. So these are a must have for little 110s. And we're also actually going to install extended pedals. So we've got extended rear brake pedal and extended gear lever, just making it easier for people with bigger feet. Now we're going for optimum performance on this 110, so we're gonna go the Funnel Web High Performance Air Filter. It's gonna make the bike breathe better and give us better overall performance. All right, we've just finished up that air filter. Now we're moving on to the cockpit of the bike. We've uh, installed the taller handlebars, so we're gonna have to go along and install longer cables. So that includes your clutch, brake, and accelerator cable on this bike. Uh, we've also got the upgraded levers from Mini Racer. These things are going to look trick. A Pro Circuit billet throttle tube, so it's an upgrade of the plastic one, and some rental grips to tie it all together. So we've thrown a pro circuit pipe on this thing, we've installed a funnel web air filter. Lastly on our list for performance mods is the BBR rev box. Now this replaces the original CDI, it increases the RPM range by 1200 RPM and makes the throttle crisper and easier starting. So this is a must have on your KLX 110. the whack the Dunlop NX33 tires on these rims. They look epic. Now you will notice we are running the rim lock. It's extremely important in mini bikes to run a rim lock. They are common to reduce tire pressures and it will actually spin the tire and break the valve off the tube. So this saves a lot of flats running a rim lock. So we're running rim locks front and rear. So moving over to the suspension, we've actually gone the upgraded suspension kit. So we're gonna have a heavy duty springs, extended dampening rod. So that's gonna increase the ride height of the bike and also make it handle a lot better. We've gone with the matching shock as well. So this bike's gonna handle unreal for an adult.
So we're coming to the final stages of this bike build. We've got the plastics to go, and we've got to put the graphics on, and then we've got to fill the bike up, connect that battery up, and fire this bad boy up. We can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? There you have it guys, this little KLX 110 is finally built. We think Hanny would be pretty proud of this build. Now if you're looking for any uh, mini bike parts, make sure you head over to mxstore.com.au and let us know in the comments below what you thought of this build.